Hey, YouTube. Okay, so uh, this is part two of a, of a three-part series. Uh, the first part, of course, was the, uh, the uh, product overview on the uh, Snug Pack Poncho, the Patrol Poncho. And uh, this is the uh, product overview on the insulated poncho liner. Both of these were available as a package deal from Woot! And uh, I, I, after thinking about it a little bit, I'm, I'm less impressed with the poncho than I am with this poncho liner. Uh, Let's go through this and we'll do the product overview and then I'll tell you a little bit about the modifications that we'll do in the next video. Okay? Alright. See you in a minute. Okay, we've got it laid out here and get a measurement on it. The width is 60 inches and the length is 38. Uh, that actually would make a fairly decent, uh, decent torso length underquilt. We have to examine that. I got a different idea for this thing. The sleeves are 22 inches long, measured from the pit. And the hood, about 17 inches high. Let's get this thing in the gear bunker and we'll take a closer look at it, shall we? Okay, let's try it. Uh, see what it weighs. This is the poncho liner. 2.305 pounds. 2 pounds, 4.9 ounces. 1,045 grams. That's a relatively heavy puppy right there. Okay, so here it is laid out on the table. You can see uh, the exterior fabric is a, a diamond weave ripstop. And I can tell you from experience with the jungle blanket that it's, uh, it's wind resistant and uh, somewhat waterproof. Let's, let's show you kind of what that looks like a little bit. Can you see that? Water just just beads up on it, rolls around. Now it, it's important to note that this is not a feature that that Snug Pack advertises or, or puts in their their propaganda or anything else like that. Uh, it's something I've noticed. Uh, I would not recommend wearing this as a uh, water resistant outer garment. Uh, but it's nice to know that you've got something that uh, you can wear. Uh, in fog, uh, early morning, uh, late evening, uh, slight drizzle maybe. Uh, I don't know how long it would take for this to wet out and start uh, soaking into the insulation, but it's good to have uh, a outer layer that is resistant to moisture and uh, will will keep the wind from from cutting through. So uh, that's a good feature of this. The hood. Uh, the hood has got an arrangement like the uh, like the poncho liner does, or the poncho does, uh, with this double-barreled cord lock here. I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, it's very clunky. Uh, you're, you're supposed to mash down on it here, I believe, and then pull it here so you can get both cords cinched up. Uh, I'm just not happy with it. The sleeves, sleeves are very generous. Uh, you got an elastic closure for your wrist. It does not have the thumb hole that the uh, that the poncho did, and I wish they had done it re reverse. I wish they'd put the thumb hole in this and uh, had left it off the poncho. That's neither here nor there. That's where we're going to take what we got on that. The uh, inner fabric is a very soft fabric feels very nice against your skin and there's not much loft to the insulation but this is the same thing uh, that the uh, jungle blanket is made out of and I can tell you from experience that the jungle blanket will keep you warm at 38 degrees 
uh, possibly even lower, but 38 is the lowest I've been in it, and uh, several other people have, have been in the jungle blanket at 38 degrees and been comfortable. So, uh, looks good sitting on the table. Uh, let's see what it looks like uh, when we put it on, because there's a couple of important things we need to know. Uh, can we put the pack on while we've got this thing on? And, will the poncho fit over it? Okay, let's go take a look at that. Okay, here it is. Uh, the first thing I notice about it is that when it's on, the front is longer than the back. Now, what that means is, is I can't throw this over my uh, pack uh, the way I would the poncho. Either that or else I got a defective piece. I don't, I don't think that's the case. Uh, it's kind of breezy along the sides, like a regular poncho liner. A GI, of course, you can't wear a GI poncho liner, so this is an improvement. Uh, the sleeves are very, very full. Uh, there's no binding, nothing like there was with the, uh, with the actual poncho. I uh, wish that they had constructed the poncho on the same pattern as they'd done the liner. I think they would have been a much better job. Now we'll put this hood on and I'll show you just how messing around with this thing is just a real Pain in the butox. Pull it there and you're going to mess around and look at it. God forbid it's raining while you're doing this. Anyway, there you go. Now, I think one of the modifications I'm going to do to this is it's fix this arrangement here. I've, I've got to give that some thought. Uh, I may just go with four separate cord locks. I don't know. We'll see about that. And I think what I'll do is... Uh, Put some snaps along the sides to cut out the breeze through here. Now, one of the important things I want to do is, is I want to check fit uh, with it with my uh, pack on. So, uh, let's see what that looks like. Okay, well there you go. Uh, nothing that hinders uh, wearing of the pack. Uh, I do like the way it snubs up. Uh, it feels good against my body. Uh, still got a little bit of a breezy area here. Again, we'll, we'll look at putting some snaps on here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is pretty good. It's not, not bad at all. I can see where, where, where this is going to come in real handy on some very cold, wet days. Let's see what it looks like with the full ensemble there with the, with the poncho on. Okay, well, there it is. That's the, the you know, the complete get-up here. Uh, this is what it would be like on a, on a real wet, rainy December day. Uh, hiking out when you shouldn't be hiking, which is when it's wet and it's cold. Uh, I think this is going to work out. Okay, there you go. Now, uh, just looking at that video, you can see that uh, it's it's a pretty nice product. Product, uh, and uh, uh, I just got back from field testing uh, this. I'd, I'd already done the modifications before I left on this trip, and I went out in a 41 degree temperature. Uh, I didn't bring the poncho. Uh, after some thought, I got me to thinking that the only time I'm ever really going to be able to use that poncho down here in Texas is in the winter time, and most of that time is deer season. So that poncho is unacceptable for deer season, where I need to be wearing blaze orange. Uh, the patrol poncho insulated liner, the insulated poncho liner, uh, fits just well under my North Face rain jacket. Uh, with another needed modification that I'll talk about in the, in the, uh, the next video. So, uh, the only time I'm going to use that poncho is when it's real cold and it's not deer season. Okay? It's totally unacceptable for a warm environment, for a summer environment uh, where I live. Uh, I'd pretty much be parboiled in it. But uh, this poncho liner, this is a different story. Uh, I've done some modification to it. It makes it really versatile. Uh, stay tuned, watch the next video. I think you'll be as impressed as I was. Okay? See you down the trail.